Hi, this is Alan Stein, basketball strength coach at DeMatha Catholic High School, and welcome. Uh, we're here in Hyattsville at the uh, newly opened weight room here at DeMatha. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a tour uh, and show you kind of what we do as one of the leading basketball programs in the country. Uh, as you can kind of see behind me, uh, we're very, very fortunate here. We've got a lot of toys, uh, and we make sure that we use them all. Uh, here at DeMatha with our players, our strength program is done year-round. The reason I'm in suit and tie right now is because we have a game later this evening. Uh, normally I'm a little less formal, uh, but we train our players year-round. Guys lifted yesterday, uh, and we'll play tonight. They'll get a game, a day off tomorrow, and we'll probably lift again on Monday. So we make sure this is something we're doing 365 days a year to keep our guys strong, keep them in great shape. But here, let me give you a little bit of a tour. Uh, over in the corner here, we keep a variety of different sandbags. Uh, we've got the, the, the little sandbags here, which you can hold on either side, uh, and then we've got the cylinder sandbags, which have a variety of different handles. We use these almost every day. Uh, they're very, very versatile pieces. Uh, you can use them for core. Uh, you can throw them. You can slam them. You can twist. Uh, really, the only thing you're limited by is your own creativity and imagination. So we use these things almost daily. Uh, there's a few different weights that the players can select from, because uh, certainly we have guys of different strength levels. Um, but those are pieces that we use almost all of the time. Uh, if you come down this way, we're very fortunate to have a whole series of power racks. So uh, for some of our more standard exercises, a bench press and so forth, uh, we've got enough stations where we can get the whole team in and work them very efficiently. Uh, I really believe as, as basketball players, the game is so intense and fast paced, we want to make sure that our workouts mimic that. So I'm not big on a guy doing a set and then resting five or six minutes and then doing another set. I want our guys going boom, boom, boom from one exercise to the next. So when we've got such a spacious weight room uh, with so many different platforms and, and bench stations, we can keep the groups really small, keep the guys running through. Um, with the bench press, and you can come over here, one of the things we do a little bit different to add some variable resistance uh, we've got some chains uh, that will actually hook up here, that, that'll hook up to any standard Olympic bar, um, which is great because it takes a normal exercise, the bench press, one of the oldest exercises in the book, and, and it adds some variable resistance to what we're doing, uh, and it makes it different. And, and with working with high school players, we want to throw as much variety at them as we possibly can. So uh, again, it's a way to just take a normal exercise that everybody does, and we try to add our own little flavor to it. Uh, if you keep coming on down this way, you can see we've got pull down stations. Um, with my philosophy with what we do with our guys, we want to have great muscular balance in everything that we do. So anytime we're doing a pushing exercise like a bench press, we want to make sure we get a pulling exercise to work the back side of the body. So uh, a player may get up off of a bench press and immediately come over here to a pull down. Uh, they can use a variety of different cable attachments, a variety of different grips. Uh, one of the nice pieces that we have here, this is called the hammer jammer. Um, and it's a, a player will get in and you can add weight as appropriate uh, and it's a, a, a very functional exercise because it's done in a standing upright position. Uh, the game of basketball is obviously played standing up and on two feet so when we can do exercises that do the same thing you know it's of more benefit uh, and it's just a straight press um, but we can add some variety, we can do some things with one arm at a time also a great way to stress your core not just your upper body. If you keep on coming down this way you know, there's, there's not many high schools that have cardiovascular equipment available. And we've got a bike, we've got a Stairmaster, we've got an elliptical and a treadmill, uh, which is good. Um, when we have a player that may uh, have an injury of some sort, maybe they've got an ankle issue or maybe they've got a bad back, and we still need to keep them in great basketball condition, we can pick some things uh, that are non-impact. So there's no banging on their knees, banging on their ankles or back, uh, which is a great alternative. Um, we have a couple of players uh, who can stand to lose some body fat, so this is another great tool for us to use, uh, you know, and say, hey, you've got to do 15 minutes of intervals um, in and around what we're going to be doing on the court. So, uh, again, we're, we're extremely lucky to have this. Um, we've got a full set of dumbbells, uh, everything from fives all the way up to 120s. Uh, so there's, you know, and enough of them that, again, if we're doing a primarily dumbbell workout for the day, uh, everybody can get to use something at the same time. Uh, enough benches to go around, because uh, again, I can't harp enough that we just, 
I don't like our players resting a ton. I believe get in, hit it hard, and get out. So a lot of our workouts, even in the off season, may only be 45 to 50 minutes in length uh, because we're working at such an intense pace. And I really believe that if we can get in in 45 minutes, what the average team gets in in an hour and 15, you know, that's going to put us in an advantage mentally and physically. Uh, we've got a, a selectorized cable that we can use for a variety of, of, of different exercises. Uh, and then one of the things I'm biggest with are pull-ups. Um, I think pull-ups are great because they develop strength in your hands and fingers and forearm and your back. And, and basketball players need to be able to control their own body weight. And uh, a lot of the younger players we get when they're coming in as freshmen uh, struggle with pull-ups. And that's normal. Uh, by the time they graduate, you know, they've made some great advancements. So we've got on the other side here with the power rack, uh, we've got pull-ups and you can take a variety of different grips. Uh, and I would say we do pull-ups as part of our workout 90% of the time. Um, to keep coming down this way. And you can see with the platforms, I'm not a big Olympic lift guy, um, but there are some that we do. But, but with the platforms, we can do a series of deadlifts. Uh, we've got the rubber-coated plates, which again, you know, uh, as a high school, we're extremely fortunate to have. Uh, and there's a variety of different exercises that we'll do with just plates. Um, but, uh, but again, we, we're just so thankful to have, you know, what we have here. Uh, we do have some machine-based stuff. We don't use it a ton, um, but there are some times where uh, I may even come in before school and work a couple of guys out that need to get in some extra work, um, and, and we'll utilize you know, just about everything that we have in here. Uh, another great piece that we have is the hammer deadlift machine, um, which is a great and safe way biomechanically uh, to work just about every muscle in your lower body and core. You know, I'm not going to do too much here because of how I'm dressed, but just a, a great machine to have and, and one that you just don't find in many places. Um, and then you've noticed that we've got boxes just about everywhere. Uh, we'll use these for a variety of different step ups. Um, we'll do some plyometrics on them, both jumping onto the box, but we'll also work on some landings, jumping off. Um, and we've got enough boxes in here that, that we can work everyone out. Uh, and then really the last thing is kind of the final tour uh, is our series of med balls. Um, and we have a good uh, wall with cinder block here. So we can do a whole variety of different throws and catches. Uh, again, working on our core, working on our upper body uh, explosiveness. So um, I hope you enjoyed the tour. You know, I, I am so thankful as a strength coach at the high school level you know, to have access to a facility this nice. Um, it's great. We have so much tradition at DeMatha. I mean, the program has been one of the best in the nation for, you know, 50 years. Um, but it's great when we have stuff this nice, we can instill that pride in our players. I mean, we make sure that this room is pristine at all times. We leave it better than we found it every single day when we come in. Um, but the guys have a lot of respect and are thankful for this because when we go play at other schools, you know, when, when I get a chance, I'll peek in the weight room and make sure some of our guys see that. And it's not to knock anyone else, but it's to make sure that our guys appreciate what we have here. And if you use that correctly as a, as a coach, you can use that as a motivational tool and say, you know, this Everyone doesn't have this, you have this, and to whom much is, is given, much is expected. And we have a lot of great stuff here. Now we've set the bar pretty high and we have to live up to it. But uh, I certainly hope you've enjoyed the tour. Uh, I've enjoyed uh, kind of sharing this stuff with you guys, and, and I look forward to talking to you soon.